very simple Okay, let's not take more time. So this question is from number series. From now onwards, you'll be having uh, only logical reasoning concept questions. So 2, 4, 12, 48, and you have to answer for next number. Okay. So 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. 12 multiplied by 4 is 48. With respect to that information, is it possible or not? You can check for the same. And uh, considering that information, uh, the next number, whatever the next number that we will be having, that next number with respect to the multiplication possibilities. So next number, we have it as uh, whatever the next number we have with that uh, 5. So 48... Uh, Multiplied by 5. That is nothing but 240. 240 is your answer. Option B, 240. So, first number, you multiplied it with 2. Second number, you multiplied it with 3. And next number, you multiplied it with 4 to get the next. So, to get the next, that is the process. And you multiplied it with 5 to get the next. Okay. Multiplied by 2, whatever you get. Multiplied by 3, whatever you get. Multiplied by 4, whatever you get, multiplied by 5. Answer is 240, option B. Let's go for the next. Coding and decoding. This question is from coding and decoding. So, S-T-U-M-P, stump is coded as P-Q-R-J-M. And P-I-T-C-H, pitch is the word and that is coded as rich. That is coded as rich word. And that is coded as rich word. Okay, very simple. So let's write down the numerical values of the alphabets. S is 19, T is 20, U is 21, M is 13, P is 16. And uh, STUMP, for STUMP, I wrote the numerical values. Straight away, the bottom line, I'm writing the respective code numerical values. P is 16, Q is 17, R is 18, J is 10, M is 13. Look at the difference. 19 and 16, the difference is 3. 20, 17, difference is 3. Difference is 3, difference is 3. And here also it is the same. Logic is minus 3 or otherwise the difference is 3 between the numerical values. Okay. Guys, you can go with respect to alphabetical order and say like uh, one letter backward, two letters backward, three letters backward for each and every letters of the word stump and you got PQRJM. And if you can apply the same thing for pitch, uh, you will be getting the respective answer. You can talk like that or you can write the numerical values also. Anything is fine according to your convenience. Okay. P is 16, I is 9, T is 20, C is 3, H is 8. 
16 minus 3, 13. Your answer should start with M. 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 is F, M, F. So, B, C, D will go wrong. Option A is right. 20 minus 3, 17. 17 is Q. 3 minus 3 is 0, 0. 0 is nothing but cycle ending, Z. 8 minus 3 is 5, 5 is nothing but E. So, M, F, Q, Z, E. MFQZE. Option A is the answer. MFQZE. Option A is the answer. Okay. I am repeating it again. Either you can take with respect to the respective numerical uh, values of alphabets or otherwise you can go with respect to alphabetical order like backward three positions, forward four positions, forward three positions like that. Logic is first term. It's minus 3 or backward. Uh, you have to go 3 places. 3 job. Repeat once again. Okay. So this question is from coding and decoding, guys. We have alphabets, right? Uh, A to Z. So why can't we take plus 3? It is word to code. Okay. Word is stump. Stump is written as PQRJM. Okay, it is not the reverse. Okay, you have given with word stump and from stump to the given code you have to check. It is not the reverse. If you are given with pitch from pitch to whatever the respective code that you will get, how that is given now that you have to write. Why that is not taken minus 3 means uh, from yes, S is coded as P. So, S is actually 19. 19 is coded as 16. If 19 is coded as 16, you are going with respect to backward direction, right? If you are taking alphabetical order, in the alphabetical order, you are going in backward direction. So, backward direction by 3 places, that is minus 3. If you go forward direction, then that is plus 3. Okay? So, alphabetical order, backward direction, 1 place, minus 1. 2 places minus 2, 3 places minus 3, forward direction 1 place plus 1, 2 places plus 2, 3 places plus 3. So, stump is the word given guys, code is P, Q, R, J, M. So, S is given P, P is given R, Q and U is given R, M is given J and P is given M. So, each and every place we have to take down the respective. Okay. They gave stump and stump is written as PQRJM. So, from stump to PQRJM, it is minus 3. You have to look like that. And from pitch, it is uh, with respect to minus 3. Okay. And also, if you do plus 3, you will not have option also. Option also is not there. If you do plus 3 per pitch, uh, option is not there. So, in that way also you have to understand. Srija, is that clear? And Akash, is that clear? Why can't we take uh, plus 3? Yeah, let's move for the next one. Next question. Next question. Very simple one. Just by looking at the question, you can answer it. Very simple question. Choose the odd man out. Odd one out or odd man out. Fine, which is different from the given option. So, all were the same. So, as you know it already, let's not take more time, guys. You know it already. Triangle will have three sides. Square will have four sides. Pentagon will have three, uh, five sides. Circle is having no side. Circle is having no side. Okay. Triangle, square, pentagon, circle, all were geometrical figures only. But uh, find the odd man out means which is different from the remaining. Triangle is having three sides, square is having four sides, 
Pentagon is having five sides and circle is having no sides. So option D is the answer. Option D, no sides is the answer. Circle with no sides. Let's go for the next quickly. Select the right option from the given alternatives. Number analogy. Number analogy. This is also simple, same as uh, the previous. What is analogy? Yeah? Uh, like analogy means you have this symbol, right? You will be a uh, given question like this. Okay, so this symbol is analogy. Like whatever the symbol you have here, that symbol is analogy. Okay, that analogy question can be framed on numbers or alphabets or otherwise words that can be framed on alphabets or numbers or words. So this is analogy symbol that is given as the same here. Somewhat the other way, these two are related. Okay, so you have to find in which way they are related, and you have to relate the same with respect to the next pair. Yeah, nine minus one is eight. Eight minus one is seven. Five minus one is four. So first pair is actually minus one with respect to each and every position. Eight minus one, nine minus one is eight. Eight minus one is seven. 5 minus 1 is 4. First pair is given with respect to minus 1. Okay. You have 7, 63, right? 7 minus 1, 6. 5, 6 minus 1, 5. 3 minus 1, 2. So it is 6, 5, 2. Option D, 6, 5, 2 is the answer. Option D, 6, 5, 2 is the answer. Okay. Analogy is nothing but uh, similarity, finding the similarity. This symbol differentiate first pair and second pair. Whatever you have here in the first pair, the same sort of connection should be having in the next pair. Okay. So answer is option D, 652. Let's go for the next. Question from directions. Question from directions. Try solving the question and share the answer option in chat box. Six fifty two guys. Six fifty two. Yeah, okay. Okay, done done. So right, left, right, left, what is the direction right side? What is the direction left side? So you need to check and uh, you need to answer with respect to the same. North, west or north, east? North, west or north, east? Oh, multiple options. From starting point, from starting point. They are asking from starting point. Please look at the question once again. Please recheck the question once again. Okay. Let me do one thing. I will give the concept knowledge of uh, directions and then I will explain this question. Okay, that will be best. Everyone is given different, different answer options. Somebody is on uh, unmute. Can you please check? 
somebody is on unmute please check it guys and mute yourself yeah so let's do one thing i'll explain the meaning like a conceptual meaning of directions and i'll explain this question so you start from any particular point that particular point top is always north from that particular point bottom is always south right side is always east left side is always west okay and sub directions this is nothing but northeast and this is nothing but northwest and this is southeast and uh, this will be nothing but uh, southwest okay so basically directions we take based on sunrise and sunset guys where sun rises that is uh, east way sunset that is west and uh, right side of east is a uh, north and left side of east is south like that we take but it is actually according to the poles of the equator so we have to write that with respect to the directions possibly any particular point whatever is the particular point that you take top is always north bottom is always south right side is always east left side is always west okay next then uh, it takes left turn again and walks 40 or whatever the information they have given so i'm uh, writing the diagram here check for the same sagar walks 30 meters west i am not sure from here where he is walking but there is a starting point so i am taking that starting point as this this is starting point 30 meters west west is nothing but this direction 30 meters distance west when a person is walking towards this direction, arrow mark will be given like this. Right side is this, left side is this. Okay. And make sure 30 should be more than 10 and 20. And 40 should be more than 30. Based on the length, the sub directions will change. Okay. Next. Takes a left turn. Left turn is nothing but the bottom place. And walk 10. 10 should be less than 30. So if a person is walking bottom, right side is this, left side is this. Next. Then takes left turn again and walks 40. Takes left turn again and walks 40. From here to here it is 30 and from here to here it is 10. Total overall it is nothing but 40. If a person is walking like this, right side is this, left side is this. Next. And takes another left turn and walks 20. 20 is double of 10. So, this is 20. And if a person is walking like this, right side is this, left side is this. Okay. Next. In which direction is he standing from the starting point? So, this is ending point, guys. This is ending point and this is starting point. In which direction is he looking from the starting point? Okay. So, this is which direction? That is nothing but northeast, right? If you have a doubt, from any particular point, top is always north, bottom is always south, this is always east, this is always west. So this is nothing but north-east direction. From the starting point to ending point means uh, this is the way how you look. Okay. So northeast is the answer. Option A, northeast is the answer. Option A, Northeast is the answer. Okay. So those who got some other answer options or those who have a uh, doubt regarding this, uh, please check. I'm explaining this question once again. From any point you take, uh, the top is always the North direction and bottom is always the South direction. Right side is always East, left side is always West. Okay. Sub directions means from north, if you tilt even uh, 0 degrees or nine, uh, 5 degrees of angle, like even if you tilt 0 0.5 degrees or 5 degrees of angle, that will come under northeast or northwest based on the subdirection. Okay. Only strike points are given north, south, east, west. So any uh, thing falling under the other places will be treated as uh, northeast or northwest, southeast or southwest. Okay. So from the particular point, 30 meters west, from there, what is right side, what is left side, ensure that left side, 10 meters. From there, what is right side, what is left side, check for that. 
from there 40, next 20, and then finally starting point to ending point, it is uh, northeast. Starting point to ending point, it is northeast. Got it right? Shall we go for the next one? Yes. Understood those who gave an other answer option. Are you sure now? Answer is option A, northeast. Answer is option A, northeast. Okay. Let's go for the next one. Yeah, next one. Next question is also based on directions, but angle. Next question is also based on directions, but the angle was there. Northeast, Northwest, multiple answers. Okay, okay. Let me give you the shortcut. So, actual process of solving is like rotating from whatever the directions they have given. So, we know the direction. Now, top is always uh, top is always north, bottom is always south, right side is east, left side is west. Okay. So from that particular point, uh, west means uh, this direction. And uh, we have to rotate clockwise, anti-clockwise. Clockwise is this direction. Anti-clockwise is nothing but this direction. Okay. But let me tell you a shortcut. Here there are only two angles, guys. But what if they give continuously 250 clockwise, 470 anti-clockwise, 560 clockwise, 670 anti-clockwise, 890 clockwise, uh, and 90 degrees anti-clockwise. 270 clockwise, 670 anti clockwise. What if they give continuously clockwise and anti clockwise uh, direction of information? So we have to make sure that it is uh, completely written clearly, right? So the person is facing west initially. I turn 125 degrees in clockwise, so plus 125. And uh, 10 degrees in anti clockwise direction, so minus 10 degrees. Clockwise direction, please take positive symbol. Anti-clockwise direction, take negative symbol, okay? Clockwise direction, that is plus 125. Anti-clockwise direction, minus 10. Plus 125, minus 10, plus 115. Plus 115 is nothing but positive angle. You need to rotate in clockwise. So whatever is the direction from here to here, 90 degrees of angle. Clockwise means uh, 90 degrees, north is crossed. Remaining 25 degrees will be there in northeast. So you will be there in northeast direction. Answer for the question is northeast. Of course, for this question, 125 and then coming back 10 is easy. But whenever you have uh, 90 degrees clockwise, 180 anti clockwise, 60 degrees clockwise, 160 anti clockwise, this method is useful. Clockwise, write positive symbol. Anti clockwise, write negative symbol. So whatever is the direction they mentioned from that direction, 
uh, in the end, if you got clockwise, uh, go clockwise completely. In the end, if you got anti-clockwise, uh, go anti-clockwise completely. So this is simple. Okay. Option D only. Those who gave other answer option, uh, please check the same. West is the initial direction that he, he is facing. From there, uh, 125 clockwise, 10 anti-clockwise means 115 clockwise overall. West to north, 90 degrees clockwise. 25 degrees, uh, you will be in the portion of northeast. Answer is option D. Let's go for the next. Simple question. Okay, alphabetically A is 1, B is 2, D is 4, E is 5. So, odd man out means process is the same. Odd man out means process is the same. You talk about E, E is 5 times. You talk about D, D is uh, 4 times. You talk about B, B is 2 times. And A, when you are talking about A, A should be only 1 time. But uh, A is A is given two times. A is given two times. Okay. So odd man out is nothing but option A. Odd man out is nothing but option A. Simple one, right? Alphabetically A is one. So that should be one time. B is two. It is two times. Possible. D is four, four times. E is five, five times. So answer for the question is A. So those who gave other answers, uh, are you clear now? Shall I move for the next? Once again, uh, okay, okay. Alphabetical value of A is 1. Alphabetical value of B is 2. Alphabetical value of D is 4. Alphabetical value of E is 5. Okay. So the question is finding the odd man out means which is different from uh, others. So alphabet is 2, right? D is given 2 times. Alphabetical value is 4, right? D is given 4 times. Alphabetical value is 5, right? E is given 5 times. So in the same manner, alphabetical value of A is 1. So A should be given only 1 time. But A they give 2 times. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Answer is option A. 